West Coast ground fish might be one of the best ecological conservation success stories that we have in the world of seafood here in the U.S. The problem is that nobody knew about it and that the markets for these species had completely disappeared in the time that it took us to rebuild this fishery. Ground fish is really the backbone of what it is that we do. Rockfish, Dover sole, petroleum sole, the sable fish, or a lot of people know it as black cod. 20 years ago, ground fish was at the brink of disaster. So we had a collaborative partnership with fisheries and science and our vessels in order to come off the water and stop fishing it for a number of years. New rules came in about when, where, how, how much to fish. And through a lot of hard work and compromise and coming to the table again and again and again, in the last five years, almost all the stocks have recovered. And so we had a whole bunch of species that were now rebuilt. And so instead of having maybe three, four million pounds of rockfish available for the West Coast, we were gonna have many millions of pounds of rockfish. You know, you just don't turn the spigot on and start running fish through the pipeline because uh, infrastructure's gone. A lot of import species have taken the place of the fish we used to catch back in the day. Now that we're back, what we found is ground fish is not as remembered as it once was. That just posed a, a real conundrum for fishermen, for the processors, for everyone involved uh, to say, well, what are we gonna do now that the stocks have rebuilt? We're still fishing for them. Um, our markets aren't there. What can we do? My name is Jana Hennig. I'm the executive director of Positively Groundfish. Positively Groundfish is a new nonprofit that's a big collaboration between fishermen, seafood processors, environmental groups, the certifier, the Marine Stewardship Council, as well as even a chef, and all kinds of organizations that in some shape or form touch the West Coast groundfish fishery. It's the perfect platform that allows us to have pure collaboration from fishery all the way to fork and table. We run marketing campaigns for West Coast ground fish species, so rockfish, sole, ling cod, and black cod, getting public awareness and trial and preference to move in the right direction so that they eventually demand these species when they go to the fish counter at a safe way or when they sit in the restaurant and see it on a menu. And if I do my job right, positively ground fish is no longer needed. I want to put myself out of business entirely. I see positively ground fish and West Coast rockfish, Dover sole, sable fish being that next storyline that James Beard chefs around the country or aspiring chefs and fishmongers alike all get excited about saying, I have to have that fish because I know people are coming. That is where Positively Groundfish comes in to ramp up all of this, uh, to shine a light on this good story. And with Positively Groundfish focused squarely on this mission, um, I feel confident that, that we're going to build these, these markets. We have this amazing diversity of healthy, sustainable species now, and that's what our mission is now, is to put that last piece of the puzzle in place so that the fishermen who are passionate about staying in this fishery and passing it on to their children can actually hit their bottom line and it can keep going. So that's what I'm excited about helping with.